Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the BS Extravaganza Football Forum! We're back. We've been away for a little bit. We yeah. can't help it. Our lives are very demanding, scheduling conflicts. Yes, but doesn't mean that we did not think about you guys and we were ready to get back on the air. It's a hard time for the Vol Nation right now. Yeah, we're uh, struggling. You guys, hang on. It'll get better. Maybe not this year. Maybe not this year. But these are times when you're going to look back and you're going to say, you know what, you guys, the fans, true fans, true step fans. up through the thick and the thin. Shout out. Raz. Be there. Sounds good, man. So let's kind of get caught up on stuff that we've missed. Um, let's first off, let's talk about um, the Oregon game. We went up there to the Oregon game. We went up to the Oregon game. We got caught in that massive storm. It was a hurricane. Yes, and uh, apparently uh, when the players went in for the storm, they never returned. I mean, their bodies were out there, but... The storm, I think, honestly, I think the storm sucked it all up out of it. It was the storm's fault, okay? You Oregon people realize if that storm wouldn't have been there, oh, we would have. If, if Oregon goes on to win the national championship, they should make a shirt that says, we I have... survived the storm of Neyland. That's right. But I'll tell you what, though, Brandon, during that little uh, weather break, where they evacuated just about everybody. We stayed right there in our ponchos while the lightning was crashing down around us. Lives in danger. Yeah. People flying by us, wind taking them off. We actually saw some of the best running and tackling of the whole night that nobody else got to see. The student oh. body decided to storm the field. And it was hilarious. People taking their shirts off. I think maybe Alcohol was involved. What do you think? That's a slight possibility. I could be a stretch. And then to watch our fat security guards run after them while they're running down the checkerboard, waving and people's cheering and they're sliding. And we had this one guy. Apparently, maybe he made a bet with one of his friends that he could run the length of the field down the sideline. <laughs> but this guy comes and he's running down the sideline and he's throwing his hand up and the people cheering him on. And the security guard had the angle on him, you know, probably around about a, like a 7, 5, 40 maybe. But he got him. And it was probably, if ESPN or whoever was televising the game, I can't remember, it would have been tackle or hit of the night. Yeah. He clotheslined him. Well, we didn't really tackle anybody in the second half. No. But our security guard, by golly. Highlight of the night, though, was... We go to the fan appreciation that they have at Thompson Bowling Arena where they're serving food and all the people. It's kind of like a, a booster thing. Yeah. We go into Thompson Bowling Arena and we're sitting there eating our little barbecue sandwich that we got. And Pat Summit and Bruce Pearl come walking out on stage. They're on the stage and we're sitting up there eating. Bruce Pearl, let's just say this real quick. Bruce Pearl got up there and apologized for what he'd done. He said, I'll let you guys down. Let's forgive the man because Lord knows he was like the only one that's ever lied in college. Yeah, I'm sure he's the, the only one that's ever done that. Just, yeah. Not in college sports especially. Right. But he did ask for us to, uh, you know, forgive him. So we should forgive him. Move on. Hope for a good basketball season. Pat Summit made the speech of how she wants to bring another national championship back to Tennessee, and then it happened. That's right. They looked up and they saw us. And they knew then they had to have their picture made with us. They caught us down out of the crowd. Oh, yeah. Just me and him. They all at once. Really. You guys, come on down. Come on down. Scott and Brandon, come on! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Please forgive me! So we got our picture made, and uh, it might take a minute to show the pictures that we had made with them. Pat Simon, has she ever won any games? No. 
think something about her name is on the floor. I don't know. I guess she's pretty good. No, I think they're talking about them, the summit. I think this is like the old Eagle Summit. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, those are bad, dude. Anyways, um, I think it really thrilled those those two. It just made her whole day. It did. It was fire up the program. But anyway, SEC talk, Brandon, uh, Georgia, Alabama. I mean, no, excuse me, Florida, Alabama. What do you think? Here's Florida coming down after maybe I don't know. Did they get their offense rolling against Kentucky? They did. I think they they just got in their groove. I think Kentucky, who I thought were playing a lot better, just kind of gave up and Florida blew them out. Yeah. But this is a big game. This is what is Florida ranked now? I'm not sure. I think they're I'm not the, sure. They're in the top ten, of course. So this is a big game. These guys are getting up for each other. Would you not like to go down to Alabama and take out number one? That would be nice. And the thing is, Alabama runs the ball so well. But I'm telling you, Florida, that's what they do best is stop the run. So, I mean, you could be looking at a defensive struggle or you could be looking at a defensive struggle. Well, what I think, I think Florida plays them tough, Bama wins. And to be honest with you, I don't know that Bama will lose. I hate to say, man, a third season of going undefeated in SEC play, that's incredible if you pull that off. Not that South Carolina has something for them, but I don't think, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think Alabama wins. Yeah, I do so. I think Let's, they'll pull it out. Being at home is going to help them out too. Oh, yeah. Georgia, what what's happened to them? I don't know, but um, you know they're getting AJ Green back. That's got to be a plus. But yeah. What's going on with that? Well, come to find out, breaking news that you heard here first on the BS Extravaganza. You know he got in trouble for what? Selling a jersey. Well, I think the uh, the AD said that he's not allowed to wear a jersey during the game, so he'll be in just straight up pads. That's right. I think they said they might use a little bit of duct tape, duct tape uh, number on him, so he can be identified if he gets called for any kind of penalty. Yeah, that, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Anyways, uh, Arkansas, they had Bama, but then they just kind of Mala. He kind of choked there at the end. He's a good quarterback, uh, but man, if you're going to throw it away, you need to throw that sucker in the stadium. Don't try to throw it out at the sideline. Yeah. Vanderbilt dropped the hammer on Ole Miss. We didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, we, we were like, Vanderbilt's going to lose about everywhere, and here they pop up and beat Ole Miss. They said Houston Nuts fearing for You know what it was about? I, I seen the coach, and the coach's name is... I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, he said, I watched the best extravaganza. <laughs> you guys picked me off. And he goes, I seen the comment you made, Scott. Said that we sucked so bad we lost our spring game. And I played that video for the guys. And they went out and beat Jeremiah Fazoli. Fazoli's. Have you ever had a Fazoli's? He's got a dang good restaurant. I'm telling you. The breadsticks are awesome. Well, I mean, what about your game cops? Get old ball coach. Good old ball coach. Got to be kind of disgusted over at the four turnovers in the fourth quarter against Auburn and still had a chance to win it. But just didn't pull it out. So Auburn, you mean the one that has the guy that's like seven foot four, who can throw it a hundred yards on one knee, Cameron Newton or whatever? I mean, ESPN is just praising this guy. My goodness, get off of him already. They're they're on this Cameron Newton. Is that his name? I don't know. You better get ready for Newton. He's from the Fig Newton family. family. Success. You know, the East really ain't looking too strong this year, is it? Uh, Georgia, Tennessee, that's going to be just a huge battle. I mean, the whole college football world will be watching that. Yeah, the battle for who? Battle for who should finish last. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Kentucky, they really didn't do much. Uh, Mississippi State, man, I'm proud of them. They've kind of stepped it up a little bit. They're getting better. And I kind of predicted that. You kind of did. Watch it. You kind of did. But let's get into it. 
LSU. Who's what's his name? Patrick Patterson? No, that's the dude from Kentucky, ain't a basketball player. No, it's uh, Peterson. Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson. They got him back. They're trying to hype him up, and I guess he's good. I don't really know much about him, uh, but I do know who their defensive coordinator is. Johnny Chavises. Third and Chavises. And you know, um, we kind of, yeah, we kind of got blistered on third down a lot. But you got to admit, you know, our defenses were pretty stout under him too. Good Lord, we'd love to have him. His defensive. You know, looks now, don't you think? Yeah. So, um, going to be extra motivation for him. He's liable to kick us while we're down. Yeah. Of course, nobody there. Well, when you make me, he rushes three men and sacks our quarterback. Golly. That is bad news, people. It's just bad news. So, we're lucky to have won that game. Yeah. But, anyways, let's get into the picks. Um, I got a feeling that our guys are gonna are gonna step it up and go down there. I don't, I'm not saying we're gonna win, but we're gonna hang with them for a while. Their quarterback ain't all that. They're struggling on offense. Uh, we're getting Gerald Jones back. If we can put him in the G gun, which run him as a quarterback, we might have a shot at this of uh, uh, playing them tough. And of course, we need to play mistake-free football. And with a young team like we got, I just don't know. We're not very deep. 30 of the guys that are going to LSU ain't never been on the road before. First game, LSU. And that's a very tough place to play. Yeah, because they set off a Richter scale one time. Dang. The Mark Richter scale? The Mark Richter scale. Wow. So what do you think is going to happen? I think our guys are going to play them pretty tough for a while, but eventually, like we've seen, they're just going to get wore down, not deep enough. I'm going to go 24-13 LSU. LSU. That's being real. Me too. I, I see our, uh, you know, UAV put over 500 yards of offense on us, I think. Or right around 500 yards. Yeah, but UAV is one of the most powerful high schools. They were yeah, actually, Alabama. yeah, I mean, but anyway, you know, going down there, they're going to, they know we're down. They're going to try to hit us. They're going to try to hit us hard. I think we'll hang tough with them for a little while, but I just think the, the youth and the depth's going to get to us. And I'm going to 38 to 10 LSU. Uh, I think Chavis will throw what, everything he's got at Sims, shake him up or, you know, you take away the you take away the pass from us, and we got to Ron Poole. He's hurt. I don't know if he'll be back or not, but I think he is coming back. Is he coming back? But you know, we can't be one dimensional in these third down conversions. <laughs> it's been pretty sad. It's like third and six. If it's six yards or more, we're like oh for nine hundred and fifty three or something yeah. like that. You know, I actually heard this today from a very true source. You know, our sources are just money. I actually heard Chavis said that if they get the win over Tennessee, State, he was planning on dumping the Gatorade, not on Les Miles, but on Derek Dooley. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Brandon. Dooley ain't experienced anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. SEC welcome. I don't know why he'd pick him, but that's just what I heard. You know, it's going, to, it's going to be an interesting season, but we encourage y'all to hang tight, stay with the team, don't bail, don't jump ship. Dude, stay strong. Memphis is coming. Memphis is coming. Yes, and you know, I heard they actually I'm play in blue suede cleats. <laughs> I'm, not, blue I'm not kidding you, man. Listen, guys, we love you. Stay strong. Hang in here with us. Tell everybody we're back. Big ball daddy. Love you. Bill for balls. Love you. Super Saiyan 1, our Tennessee man down in Florida. Love Keep you. Keep flying the orange. And all you other guys that, that have subscribed and commented on us, good or bad, we Keep bringing it. it. Keep bringing it. That's right. And until next time, we'll see you on the BS.
extravaganza.